All right, guys, so this episode was really good. It had its action, but then it had its little story to it. You know, it went back to Ochaku, uh, you know, having to deal with or brought back the, the memories of when she told her parents, you know, that I want to go out and be a hero. And by her getting defeated by Bakugo in a way, it kind of like made her break down. Yeah. Because, you know, she, she wanted to win. She wanted to go further than what she did. But in a way, it's like you went against somebody who is supposed to be one of the best, you know, going against, you know, 1v1. And yeah. somebody who had already lost previously and was, if not as determined as you, but maybe even more, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, probably not the best person to go against. Uh, but, you know, she still did her best. She still did something that nobody expected, you know? Ca having him cause all that damage to, you know, make objects to, so that she could use to her advantage. Mm -hmm. But like she said, she didn't really have a plan for after, you know, she didn't think that next step ahead like yeah. okay what if he does block my 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 uh, secret attack or whatever or or what nobody's really expecting what if he does block it then what do i do she yeah. didn't go that far ahead so that's where she needs to you know learn i guess to to think further you know or even just yeah. plan even more ahead or even or even you know just think of a next uh, quick strategy to come up you know yeah and i think it's that doesn't just go that doesn't just go for her it goes for a lot of these heroes that are into the that are in the tournament because everybody has a plan but it seems like nobody really has a backup plan so hopefully all the other students will learn from her mistake of not having that backup plan yeah and um i'm just excited now you know to get a get getting to see if uh who bakugo faces next you know after defeating her mm -hmm. like who who's gonna be his next opponent i didn't even maybe they showed the quick chart i must have missed it but um and you know what? It was surprising to see Izuku going against Todoroki in the next round. Yeah. I would have expected maybe uh, them to be one of like the last, the, if not the last fight, one of the last. Just to make you like, just because you would think a show would be like that and give you the, try to give you the best or the most anticipated fight for the end. Yeah. But no, no, I, they, they're going to start it off. You know, the, this is the next round, I believe. So they're starting it off with whoever did the first fight. I think Izuku mm -hmm. and that member, he was the first fight. Okay. Todoroki did the second fight so i think mm. it's one and whoever fought first and second oh, where okay. the winners of those are gonna go third and fourth whoever the winner of those i think i'm yeah. not 100 percent sure um but i guess i'm just like underestimating bakugo i mean i know he's strong but for some reason i still feel like izuku and todoroki are like still up there. maybe maybe uh even see. izuku's scared of him for a reason you know he mm -hmm. maybe he remember that on that one time bakugo the only reason he, he didn't think izuku he just underestimated izuku now he's not going to be doing that, so I'm sure yeah. he'll stand a lot better chance against Izuku, you know? Um, yeah. One of the parts that I thought was very sad in this episode was, you know, when she had those flashbacks right before she was KO'd. Her speaking to her parents, you know, saying that she wanted to be this hero so that she could help mo her mom out, you know, and, yeah. and stuff. And that's very sad, you know, very emotional. And, and then... um. She was. It seems like she was really digging deep to try to get you know that extra little boost of energy yeah, she needed to complete much. the match. She just having a, remember her having to lift all the stuff. It just weak make it makes her more and more oh, weak, and that was yeah. so much. I think she's never had to do or lift it that much. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, and all the sad. blasting that also had to have had a great impact on her body and stamina, like she was saying. Uh, well, either way, she ends up getting KO'd. Bakugo ends up, I guess, moving on. Uh, he underestimated her even when he talks to Izuku. He ends up trying to give Izuku, in a way, the credit. But Izuku was like, no, she thought of this, you know? Mm -hmm. If you underestimated her, that's because, you know, she... That was of your doing. Yeah, because, you know, this is all... That was all her. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you if you fucking almost lost, it was because of all... It was all her. You yeah. know what I mean? And then also how these other heroes were kind of like calling him a bully for throwing out all these yeah. attacks. Yeah, that that's another thing, you that know? That was wrong. In a way, yeah, it was wrong, but I can see why because it looked like she wasn't really doing much, yeah. but that was her purpose. She was trying yeah. to cause him to do damage, but people, nobody was really looking at that except for uh, Mr. Aizawa who noticed that even then, Bakugo wasn't going to take it easy on her even mm -hmm. if she was, because all she had to really do was touch it, but yeah. since it looked like he was just causing so much damage to her um and not really she wasn't really like fighting back they're like why don't you just get her out but it's like that's what she was kind of trying to do and in a way he was just trying to play it safe yeah so in a way nobody was that wrong everybody was just needed to mind their own business in a way and yeah. just watch the fight well i would just think you know it's a tournament and 
at the end of the day, this is a really big prize for the winner. And she made it there for a reason. Yeah, she made it there for a reason. So people can't expect for Bakugo to hold back on anybody. Yeah. Yeah. He can't underestimate anybody. Mm. Because like you said, all she needed to do was touch him and he would have been done. Yeah, that's it. He wouldn't have been able to like yeah. come back down. And then maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, but like even then, I don't think it would have worked as easy as we might think. But, yeah. you know, bro, we, we, um... Bakugo got to move on. Yeah, he got to move on, and I'm just interested in seeing who he's gonna fight next, and it, mm -hmm. it, are they gonna push him even to the to the next limit? You know, like. Do you think it's gonna come down to maybe him having to go against Ida? I feel like that'd be an interesting one. Then again, who fought? Who fought before him? Do you remember? <sighs> but um, I I honestly don't remember who fought right before him. I can't remember. I think it was Ida. Ida's gonna be against the girl with the vines. With the vine, the hair, the green yeah. hair. Okay. Yeah, and that'll be interesting, seeing how yeah. that... Yeah. Another thing, um, Endeavor, like, him wanting to search for Izuku to make sure and tell him, like, don't hold back on my son, go all out, because he is eventually going to be better than All Might, and this is going to be, I guess, another stepping stone that Todoroki needs to, you know, pass to, or, or, or you know, move, uh, go above and beyond, because you're like i guess it's kind of the same you're kind of similar to all might so if he you, he can beat you then he i'm sure he can eventually get to the point of beating all might because they have the same quirks in a way um he's very close mm -hmm. to all he um endeavor noticed that izuku's close to all might mm -hmm. so you know he he's um he's kind of like if you can beat the little one you can eventually beat the big one in a way so and, do you think he's also maybe trying to get todoroki to use fire also not just the ice yes yeah, that too because he knows that if izuku goes all out that eventually todoroki will probably have to use the fire mm -hmm. and i feel like that's what it's going to come down to no matter whether t if todoroki wants to win he's going to use it and i feel like to. and i have a feeling todoroki is going to win but because he's going to end up kept relying on fire and izuku is going to come down to like he's never really planned for the fire he's always planned for ice because todoroki's never really shown the yeah, but then again, Izuku's very smart. Yeah. And if he learned from Ochaku's mistake of not having a backup plan, then he's got to take into account this other factor. Yeah. That, yeah, he's got the eyes, he's relying on Todoroki, well, but then again, he's going to have to use the fire. If well, he if we remember, to. he did he did um kind of think of a plan right on the spot because when, remember when Todoroki pulled out his flame? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they helped clear it up. Izuku didn't touch. He basically use the the strength to cause wind oh. to blow the flame out of his hand i'm sure he's gonna have to use his his other quirk like as much yeah. as he wants to say this and that he's gonna have to unless maybe not for izuku but for the next one yeah yeah i mean i guess critical thinking skills are what are gonna because if somebody still needs to go to the, yeah because somebody still needs to go to the next one whether yeah. it's Todoroki or izuku i mean and there's still bakugo you know bakugo even then if it comes down to bakugo versus Todoroki, bakugo's gonna have his chance try and prove himself mm -hmm. this but, is when he's gonna be able to go all out without yeah. having to hold back because i still feel like he was kind of holding back with ochaku well yeah he didn't I he really was still was. ready to go he was still ready charging yeah. but she you know she passed out it was all that was all of her strength you know that she went i'm sure that was the farthest she's ever pushed herself though too and mm -hmm. she just she even said that she would have she would that just shows that she needs more training yeah yeah because his blast they were big but not as big as that last one that he did but he did cause it seemed like he hurt his hand didn't it look mm -hmm. like it was all like like stiff or, or yeah. like it was all cramping or something? Um, so we're really going to have to see how this turns out, you know, uh, uh, especially with this sports festival, you know, tournament. Very, It's very good, guys. Um, a lot more action than I would say the first season had. Uh, very, A lot more interesting and, and you know, uh, the fights, you know, just showing and then showing everybody else's quirks a lot. Yes. You know, that's what's very interesting, you know, getting to see all the different types and then seeing these really pro heroes watching these younger up and coming heroes mm -hmm. it's it's interesting you know and getting to hear their opinions and see what they think about these heroes and how they feel like they could probably fit in with them yeah you know? and i feel like these students too the quirks are just awesome they all have their own unique you know quirk and it's also gonna hopefully keep them on their toes on you know getting better because even though you're a hero you can always improve on something mm -hmm. so i think this tournament is one of like the greatest ideas that they could you know have definitely and uh just one more thing uh the villain at the end tori shima tor to whatever mm -hmm. I, I honestly can't remember his name anymore because we haven't heard from him for since like season one but what they so they do have a plan then they're planning to bring out some type of attack once again um yeah of course when 
who knows maybe but... next season maybe the end of this season because we're we're almost i'm not sure if we are halfways or if we're almost halfways okay or if we already passed the mark i don't i honestly could i honestly don't remember i haven't looked at how many episodes there are left but um thanks guys you know for still sticking it out with us for you know clicking that like button comment it helps us out and you know it lets us know that you guys are enjoying this art well this series and our content uh so we appreciate it until next time please leave a like comment and subscribe bye But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through